In this video, we're going to be creating a specific overview admin page. We're going to duplicate the content overview view. We're going to change the menu tab type and we're going to change the content type filter there in order to turn it into a article overview page. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and under content we have this overview page where we have usually all the articles and basic pages. For example, if we here create a basic page, example basic page, it will appear there, which is completely normal, but I just did it in order to see the difference between this page and an overview page that we would create here as a tab that contains just articles. So in order to do it, we're going to use the views. Basically this page is built with views. So if you go under structure and views, we see the content view and we're going to duplicate it. It's a really nice feature that came with Drupal 8 and we're going to call this page article overview like this. Also the machine name changed so we duplicate and we basically have the same page as the content overview page. But of course as we have some tabs we can't have two default tabs so we would have to change the menu tab in order to be a menu tab, not to be a default tab. And we would say that the parent would be the content page. And of course here we would say that it's the article overview. That is basically the text that we would see in the tab. So we apply and the next thing we want to do is we want to change the path. So we would say content article, so almost the same but with article instead of note. And the last thing we want to change is the filter criteria. So if you are familiar with views, the filter criteria is here and we have a bunch of exposed filters. We see here they are suffixed as exposed. So the content type is something that we want to change from exposed filter into not exposed and we want to always filter just the articles there. So as we apply we're now here in the preview seeing just the articles. So if we save the page and if we go to content we will now see that we have the content overview page but we also have the article overview. Maybe overview is not needed but that's the way I wrote it. And we see that here we have just the articles and in the content overview page we have all the content and here we could filter based on content types but here we have just the articles. And I find myself quite often creating a specific overview page just for the most important content type in the system. For example, if the editors are 90% of the time adding articles or adding some special pages, they don't want to see all the different types of pages here in the overview and they don't want to filter all the time in order to see them, but it's much more convenient just to have a overview page with just the content that is being used by the editors 80% of the time and they would be much happier. And here you could also put some special filters that are relevant just for that content type so that the editors could quickly find what they are working with. So that's it. If you like this video, please check the links in the description, like, subscribe, share if you like this video and thanks for watching.